Hi, it's Chris Duncan here. This episode is about choices. You are choosing everything. Here at the Conscious Education Podcast, we're the talking about being a creator. And we believe that if you create the life you love, many of the things that are challenges or problems no longer exist, like ill health or, or bad finances or, or bad relationships. So by becoming a creator and choosing that, then you, you have a life in absence of what you don't want. But if you focus on what you don't want, you just choose to keep those things alive. So today's episode is all about choices. It's about understanding options and it's about knowing that your goals need to feel like there's no other choice, but they are going to be completed. Anyway, enjoy the episode. I look forward to hearing what you think about it. Bye for now. When you truly understand how to get into the feeling of what you want and then take the action towards it, you'll really just see magic happen. And it's it's magic that that is is truly truly magic. Um, you truly can create and have and be and do whatever it is that you choose. Uh, one of the things I notice a lot of times is that for for whatever reason we 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 ignore the laws of nature. We want it to be faster, and and you know obviously some of the laws of nature is what you plant will grow, right? What you plant will grow. Second is it takes some time. You know, doesn't you plant plant tomorrow? There's not a tree there, you know, straight away, is there? You know, and so you plant a seed. You have got to look after the seed. Also, there's seasons. You know, there's all sorts of seasons and things that that uh, happen and change. Sometimes things are, you know, summer and going awesome, and and other times it's it's winter and it's you know it's time to time to chill out a bit. So the key is this, and I want everyone to hear this today. It's all about what you choose. It's all about what you choose. That's the key. That's the key. It's what you choose. And I want to break down that word. A choice is, I like to use the word choice because a choice is when you realize you have options. Okay. So I prefer not to use the word goal. So I don't have goals because goals feel like there's something that I have to uh, get to does that make sense type in the yes if that makes sense I like to yeah give me a yes if you get that I like I like choices yeah so I say I'm going to choose this there's an inherent um why don't you guys tell me when you hear hey um this is my choice this is what I choose there's a bit of power in it there's options in it it's done when you've cho when you choose something you've chosen it and so today I want to walk us through making um, some choices of what we're going to choose. Um, not, not necessarily goals, not necessarily goals. Okay. So people ask me a lot, well, Chris, you know, I'm doing the meditation, doing these things. How or, or what uh, do you do each morning? Do you do all your own meditations? And look, I do a meditation to get myself into the feeling of my end result every single day. And I actually do it through making choices. So today's a very important session to me. So I'm going to take you through how to make a choice, a true choice, something that you just want. And it's going to be really, really easy. Okay. So when you make a choice, you step into it and then you always ask yourself, what's the next? Hey, the other Sarah, I see Sarah Rima on here as well. You always ask yourself, what's the next obvious action to take? Okay, so the first thing we're going to choose, okay, we're going to make the choice to be the predominant creative force in our life. And I want to explain this first choice. It's a, it's a fundamental choice for all of us. The, the choice to be the creative force in your life is one that we don't think we need to choose. But so often, I see people who have not chosen to be the creative force in their life. They've chosen to be reactive. They've cho they haven't They have actually said, you know, I choose to be the creator. I choose it. And so you're going to have a, a, a fun little experience as we go into this choice. And uh, yeah, so here, we're going to do it. So if you guys are ready, um, we're going to get straight into a lot of exercises today because I'm feeling action orientated. So you just have to follow along, obviously, uh, unless you're driving, don't do it. <laughs> but just listen if you are driving and keep your eyes open. <laughs> uh, but if you're sitting there, so just, uh, you know, 
uh, phone down in your lap or, you know, headphones on or have me on speaker, uh, you know, just put your computer down in front of you and just, and just sit back from the keyboard for a second. And, and let's just do this. So the first choice, so just close your eyes and just in your mind, just say this to yourself. I choose to be the predominant creative force in my life. I choose to be the predominant creative force in my life. And just keep your eyes closed and just choose that. Notice how it feels to choose to be the predominant creative force in your life. I choose to be the creator. I choose to be the one in control. I choose it. When you're ready, just open your eyes and come back and give me some feedback about how it felt to make that choice. How did it feel to choose to be the predominant creative force of your life? Yeah, empowered. Yep. Good energy. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't want yeah, I didn't want to leave it either. I love sitting in that feeling. But tell me, fill me in in the chat box. You know, was it good? It's more specific, yeah. Yeah, cool. Hey, guys out there on Facebook, I see you. Hey, Heather. Hey, TJ. Hey, Rebecca. Here's the link here, guys, uh, if you can join on Zoom as well. Peaceful, empowering. Good, good. It's good. Powerful, a gift to myself. Well, you know, it's choosing to be, it's a future state with Mary. It's choosing, it's choosing to be it, to be the one in control because if we look at our if we look at our past, have we always chosen to be the creative force? My uh, hallucination is that most of us haven't chosen to be the creative force in our life before. We've chosen to to let other things control us. True? Anyone else seen that in your life, or is it just mine? I thought I thought I was. Is interesting. Choosing, choosing to be the predominant creative force in your life is the most fundamental choice you can make. Hey, Andrew, good to see you on. Nice. It's the first one. It's the first choice that I make every single day. I make it consciously. I choose to be the predominant creative force in my life. Right on, Mary. And then once you choose that, you say, okay, I am the predominant creative force. And then I choose it to be like this. So can everyone see that it's like a fundamental choice that happens in order to create the identity of a creator? It's very, very, very cool. Hey, Ed, good to see you jumping in. Good timing. Good timing. We're about to do the second choice. Okay, so the second choice that we're going to do is, is choosing, oh, always well, Ed finished an Amplify last weekend, so got a bit of a, a speaker's voice going on here. <laughs> so 
The second choice is to is to choose to live our true nature and our purpose. Choosing, hey Heather, choosing to live our true, true nature, true, choosing to be true to ourselves. It's a really interesting feeling. You're going to enjoy it. Uh, I love this choice. I love this choice. So if you're ready, close your eyes and just join me. Phone down, pen down, laptop down. Just sit there and connect and say to yourself in your mind this choice. I choose, I choose to live true to myself. I choose to live true to my true nature and purpose. I choose to live my true nature and purpose. I choose to live true to me. And just make that choice in your mind with firm intention. I choose to be my truth. Choose to live my true nature and purpose. Just notice how it feels. Notice how good it feels. Notice where it feels good in your body and just feel it as you make that choice. It's done. I choose that. I could say in that one forever, but let's come back. Let's come back to the group. Fill me in. How did it feel to choose your true nature and purpose? How did that feel? Present. Yeah, right. Freeing. Calm. Nice. It's a good choice to choose that. And, and I really love, uh, I love the word choice. Strong, right on, right on, strong, felt strong. Type in the chat box how it felt to choose to live your true nature and purpose. Easy. Yeah, good. It's a fundamental choice. And remember, when we're creating and manifesting, we're just picking what we want. It doesn't make us better or worse. We're just choosing it. And I'm, and I'm helping you feel what it feels like just to make a choice because that's how it should feel when you choose a million dollars. I choose a million dollars. Cool. I choose two million dollars. Oh, okay. I choose this. I choose that. It shouldn't. It's easy to choose. Choosing to live your true nature and purpose is a fundamental choice because once you've chosen to be the creator of your life, then it's time to choose, time to choose to live true. It's exciting, limitless, and freeing. Right on, Ed. I love it. I love it. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Are you guys enjoying this so far? Are you enjoying doing some choices with me? How does your body feel? You know, we've done two choices. How do you feel? I can feel into the group that's on here and you guys feel grounded. You feel, 
your creative power is there, you're living true to yourself. So the next, the next choice that we must choose is I, I, choose, I choose perfect health. I choose perfect health. That's the next choice. This is gonna be very interesting for a lot of you. I choose perfect health. So when you're ready, close your eyes. Step into your inner mind and make the choice with me that by saying this in your mind, I choose perfect health. I choose to experience perfect health. I choose all the cells in my body to be complete perfect health. I choose to have energy and vitality. I choose it. That's what I'm going to choose. I choose perfect health. And once you feel like you've chosen it, just feel it. I choose perfect health. I choose energy and vitality. I choose every cell in my body vibrating at the perfect frequency. I choose health. And I just love to experience this, but when you're ready, you can come back, open your eyes. Tell me who felt that in their body when they chose perfect health. Yeah. Yeah, I feel it a lot. I feel like when I say I choose this, like my whole body like responds to me. It's like, wow, yes, that's what we're choosing. We're going to be perfect in health and certainly did. Thanks, Andrew. Love it. Like I choose it and I feel it and it feels great, comfortable, content. Uh, it's interesting, uh, Sarah, that's how all of we want. So I want you to take that feeling. That's how we want all of your choices to feel. True. That's how it should all feel. It's good. It's a good metaphor for you. They should all feel normal. Yeah. Clear and happy. Clear. Yes. Totally content. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Alignment. Yeah. Happy and laughter. Beautiful. So what you're learning here is how to, how the, feeling when you make a choice should feel it's my highest value i always feel like my health is awesome like sarah great that is how you should feel in every other area yeah confident because i have good health good good see that's a choice that you continue to make you're making it on autopilot. Is that true? A lot of you are making that choice on autopilot already. And so we want to make all the choices be on autopilot, right? Just like the next one, which is, I think, going to not be what most of us can feel all the time. <laughs> so what are you learning here? You're learning how to step into a choice and doesn't make things better. It's not a goal. It's a choice. You step into it. It's an end result. 
And it's so, it's so beautiful to me, this way of, of stepping into, I don't want to come out of these. Like, I don't know if those of you, maybe you opened your eyes, you saw me. I just love these. I'm stepping into these with you. I can sit in any of these choices and just sit there go, oh, I choose that. I'm there. It is so much more fun. It's just as fun being in it and my eyes closed as it is when I see it in reality. It's just such a pure, clear choice. And this is how you enter the wizard's gate. The wizard's gate is with no, resi no resistance and no desire. It's when you're right there. Nice, Peter. Love it. That's right. That's right. That's right. Okay, so the next choice that I'm going to make with the whole group is I choose to be free and abundant. I choose to be free and abundant. And then we're going to start getting into our own personalized choices. Okay, so close your eyes and step into this. I choose to be free and abundant. I choose total freedom, total abundance, financially, spiritually, emotionally, time, everything. I choose to be completely free and abundant. I choose that. That's what I choose. I choose freedom. I choose to be abundant. And just as you choose it, feel where you feel it in your body and just notice how it feels to choose to be free and abundant. I choose to be free and abundant. Say to yourself now and make the choice. I choose freedom. I choose total abundance. I choose to have more than enough of everything, more than enough time and money, resources. I choose freedom. I choose to be doing what I love. I choose freedom and abundance. Just breathe into that. Notice how it feels. Hmm. When you're ready, you can open your eyes and come back to me. Hey, Christine, saw you just jumped in. Good to have you here always. Always good to see you. Hey, <laughs> happy birthday to your beautiful girl, by the way. <laughs> so how does it feel to choose to be free and abundant? Feels good. Yes. Yes, it does feel good. <clears throat> Amazing. Right on here, though. Got it, TJ. That's right. That's right, TJ. Amazing. Good, good, good. I love it, Rebecca. Choosing to be free and abundant. What was that like? How did that feel? How did that feel? So when I choose to be free and abundant, it just feels like the best choice. That's what I'm going to choose. I'm going to choose that. Mm. And I kind of like, no, I nearly bathe in it. I'm like, oh, like it's like, mm, that feels so good. You know, I really, I really am tuning my frequency and tuning the, 
the field around me to, to that. I'm like, I choose that and I get into it and I stay in that feeling and I just keep choosing it and choosing it and choosing it until it's, as, it's, until it's an automatic choice, like for some of you, the health one. That was huge. I'm glad it was huge. Fill me in, Heather. Open. Feels awesome. Like fully saying yes to me. Wow, Sarah. Great. Feels warm in your stomach. Awesome. Unlimited warm and bright. Like bees buzzing in your stomach. Yeah, cool. A very similar feeling to when I ask myself, what would the person I'm becoming do right now? Nice. My whole chest cavity expanded. Great. <laughs> I think that's a good thing. <laughs> Cool. So these are uh, these four. Uh, <laughs> all right. So it is a good thing. Heather, Heather confirms it's a good thing that her whole chest cavity expanded. So these are the four fundamental choices. And I want you to write them down. One is I choose to be the predominant creative force in my life. Two, I choose perfect health. Three, I choose to live my true nature. And four, I choose to be free and abundant. Type those in or write them down. Someone type them in if it's okay and send to uh, all panelists and attendees and someone on Facebook if you could write them all in as well, just so that others can grab them. Grab them. Nice, nice, Rosemary. That's awesome to hear. Cool. So they are predominant creative force. I choose perfect health. I choose to live my true nature and purpose and I choose to be free and abundant. Yeah, thanks Mary. Why are those the four fundamental choices? Hmm. Why are those the four fundamental choices? Well, those are the four that if you choose them, you are able then to, to be ready to make your own choices. You see, those choices get you into the right place to then be the wizard that you are. You see, so you make those choices first. And now that they are chosen, now you're ready to make your own choices to then step into it. So each morning I'll do that. And it takes me a good five to 10 minutes to go through those four. And then I start stepping into, do you see what I'm saying, guys? That gets me, that gets me ready to make the other choices. Awesome. So what did we cover today? We covered creating the choice, becoming a predominant creative force in your life. And then the, the choice to have your true nature and purpose, the choice of perfect health, the choice of being free and abundant. Then we did one choice with our self about what we want. So tell me, do we have a good session today? I love you all to, to have an absolutely awesome week out there. And remember that you are just choosing what you want. And we don't have goals. We just have choices. <laughs>